Alright guys, well I jumped off to mock all this tile up for the mudroom and I'll explain why. When I shot the material list for this, I took my total square footage and I added 10% to it for material waste. Which everything I'd read was the correct number to use for just a straight pattern or even a running bond like this. If you're going diamond or something like that, you might go 20-25% in your material waste. Well, when I ordered the tile, I was just into the next box, including my waste, meaning about a tile, tile and a half. So as I was laying things out in the last bathroom, I noticed my tile started really shrinking in the box count. So I shifted over here to lay this out, and I mean to tell you, I started with 98 tiles. I actually used up 97, and I accidentally broke one throughout the process. So I literally had to come in here and jockey things around and make sure that I was going to have dead enough tile or I was going to have to order some more. And the only problem with ordering them is they're going to have different die lots and runs, production runs on them, so it might not have matched if I couldn't get one out of the same production run. So the long story short is I hit this thing on the nose and I'm going super slow and walking on eggshells because I cannot break a single tile. So the rest of this job is going to be real painstaking and a real pain in the rear. Not to mention, I was going to leave the extra tile here for the next homeowner so if they dropped something and broke one, it could have been repaired. They would have had one left over, but I already broke it. So I think next time when I do a job like this, even though 10% should have been enough, I think I'm going to bump it up to 15 and definitely take the next box if I roll into it at the bare minimum. Just some general information. Alright, well I'm just going to give a brief description on how I laid this particular room out. This is probably more closer to how one would do it even though the way I'm going to end up doing it is of my own liking and design. Now the first thing I did was I come in and I measured across the wall and I found the center and made a crow's foot on the floor did the same thing here even though the dimensions are different just find the center same on both of these two walls found the center then I have found my chalk but for some reason my chalk box is not in my trailer so I've got to locate it so just keep moving and it's just an idea I just use this mason's line and I taped it down across there and brought it and made my X out to find the center of the floor and made sure it was taut then at that point I started working tiles with the spacers like from that point down and from this point down to figure out how to shift the tiles to get an equal distance on each side again making sure that I did not have a tiny sliver in this case it worked out to be about seven and a half inches up there and down here in the doorway kind of laid things out and looked at it then you can actually shift these lines around, snap new ones, whatever you like. Let's say I wanted to use this line right here, but this one was not coming off perpendicular. You can use a 3, 4, 5 and snap a new line off that to get your 90 degrees. And technically that's where you set your first tile. And then you work your way out to the edges, cutting them as needed when you get to that. I'm doing mine a bit differently. I'm going to start up here and work my way out into the kitchen. So once I had that in place, I basically came off this line to the distance I needed, let's say it was seven and a half inches. And then I snapped another one here. Well, it's a pencil line, so I just put the cord down, taped it off real good, and went around in a couple of places and marked the floor where the string was took it up and connected it with a six foot straight edge. Then my center line of the room is actually this one here that comes up to this crow's foot. So I started right here on this one and I did a three, four, five off here to square things back up because this room is not square in any manner. So I'm just trying to get things laid out so visually when you look down in here it will appear that way even though it's really not. So once I got that one on, then I came over 
half my distance plus a spacer plus half of a spacer and then there's my other line that I shot down. This is for my running bond pattern. So the first tile I set will be one of these two and they'll shove up to that line and then they'll space off in both directions and the next one that's offset will shove up to the line to this edge and then do the same thing and then I'll stack my way out the door and everything will be installed at that point. Well this mudroom's in tile now, turned out pretty good. Need to do the next bathroom then I'll grout them both at the same time. Alright guys, well I've been working in the layout in this front bathroom here. Got it all figured out, pre-cut, ready to roll. This one turned out a little bit differently and I'll explain what I mean. I wanted to start with a full tile in the doorway like I did the other one, but when I stepped up here and spaced everything out, I only ended up with about two inches in front of this tub. So what I ended up doing was borrowing from that first tile, meaning I cut about four inches of it off and slid everything that direction to give myself a wider piece up here. Now the width coming back to this wall worked out perfectly, just half tiles to stagger them out. So once I got that figured out, I worked my way back to the door. Now I do have reference lines under here too for my running bond. And then up here, I have a square line to start the first course and then work my way out. Well, Alright guys, got the mudroom wrapped up, trim and all. Just a quick shot here. The only thing left to do in here is a little bit of paint touch up and seal the grout. Alright, I've got the floor installed here, grouted, baseboard still needs to be sealed. Looks pretty good. Got a new toilet installed here. I've got the grout installed on the tub surrounds. I need to do some caulking in here. I'm not going to show it, just describe it. Whenever tile changes planes, it really should be caulked. Let's say in the corners, for example. I'm actually going to be using a color match caulk on this so I'll come up the corner around the soap dish on both sides and go up like so. I need to caulk around here all the way around no big deal but on the bottom of the tub I'm not going to use color match caulk because like I would mentioned before there's a slight bow in this tub and I don't want to accentuate that bow so I'm going to use white silicone around here but before I do that I'm going to fill the tub up with water to ensure that gap is at its widest point when I install it. Then I'll let it cure out for a good amount of time and then drain the water out of the tub. So I'm kind of at that stage right now, but I need water. So I need to go ahead and install the trim kit here so I can get it operational and fill the tub so I can do that caulking. So that's where I'm at right now.